Hey everyone, now that we're through three weeks of free agency and the NFL meetings down in Florida have wrapped up, let's bring you three Jets takeaways here from week three of free agency. First of all, the Jets have re-signed Aaron Henderson, their veteran inside linebacker, and he is now the favorite to start at weak side linebacker, a spot previously occupied by Demario Davis, who the Jets let walk in free agency, and he ended up signing with the Browns. So the Jets didn't really want uh, Davis back anyway. They get Henderson back. We'll see how he does if he, you know, it ends up starting in that spot, and it looks like he probably will. Uh, at, down at the meetings in Florida, Jets coach Todd Bowles says he, he's very comfortable with Matt Forte despite Forte's age, which is 30, and despite Forte's mileage, 2,035 career carries and 487 career catches. Not 20,000, but 2,000 career carries. A lot of mileage on Forte, but Bowles thinks he still has a lot, lot left in the tank. Woody Johnson said down at the meeting, the Jets owner, uh, that he thinks you can win without an elite quarterback in the NFL. Well, we'll see. Uh, the Jets probably aren't going to have an elite quarterback in 2016. You're looking at probably if the Jets don't re-sign uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, who, look, let's be honest, is not elite. If they don't re-sign him, you're looking at Geno Smith, Robert Griffin, um, a guy like maybe Mike Glennon or Colin Kaepernick, Josh McCown, Brian Hoyer. You know, none of those guys are elite guys. Those guys probably the Jets would obviously have to get in trade or uh, hope they get released. Uh, and Griffin, of course, a free agent.